existence of the Sasquatch or Bigfoot has been debated for decades, some saying the legendary creature is real, others dis dismissing it as a hoax. But people in the First Nations community of a house at near Tofino are big believers now, especially after one of its fisheries officers had a close encounter with one last week. And they've got the photographic evidence they say proves it. CTV's Gord Kerbis takes us to the scene of the sighting. You can see the tracks right there. Luke Swan points out the location where just days ago, him and a group of others saw a series of massive footprints. It was 16 inches long for the measuring tape. Uh, that was from the heel to toe, the big toe, and then the width of them from toe to toe was seven to almost eight inches long. Swan is here to look for further evidence that may have been left behind where his son says he spotted what he says is a Sasquatch. Well, the first thing in my mind was to get off the beach. <laughs> I pushed off as fast as I could and got to deep water. Swan's son is Luke Jr., an officer with a house at Fisheries. He was on routine patrol last Wednesday, arriving at White Pine Beach when he saw something sitting on this log, which then stood upright. Something really big stood up, you know, probably between eight or nine feet, something it was huge. It was a, at broad shoulders. I seen it from the side, and when I turned... And had huge, huge shoulders. There was eight to ten footprints all along, indicating that it walked that way. The tide is high now, but when he was here last week, the older swan and others from the community of Ahauzet looked for signs of the legendary creature. They saw and photographed several footprints through the grass and mud. They fought with difficulty to follow where the creatures walked with ease, and even noted bark pulled off a cedar tree eight feet in the air. We went further into a stream and to the river and found more footprints, so it's, it's out there. The fisheries officer, who has been up close and personal with all sorts of wildlife, including bears, says this was no bear. When I saw it, it, <laughs> it scared me. It's something, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people probably want to see it, but in the end it might scare them too. You know, I don't wish it upon anybody. He's had several days to reflect on the mystery of what he witnessed that day and knows he is one of only a limited number of people who can claim to have seen a Sasquatch. But he says it's an encounter he wouldn't want to repeat. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Ahauset.